Welcome to Introduction to Accounting Framework. Hi, my name is Kay Diguchi, and I will be taking you through an eight-session course on the basics of accounting framework. I have been a CFO at GE Plastics Japan, a roughly half a billion dollar company for a few years, and that is where I have developed a love and attachment for accounting and finance. Truly, these numbers can tell us a lot about the financial health of a company, and together throughout the eight courses, we would be able to understand the basic frameworks of how to distinguish a quality of earnings of a company. So let's begin the journey. Throughout the course, we'll be going through the nature and purpose of accounting, section one, balance sheet, where we'll spend two sections, income statement, cash flow statement, and we'll finally run through several financial ratios and analysis that will tell us about the quality of earnings and the financial health of a company. We'll first go to session one, where we'll look at the nature and the purpose of accounting. There are many qualitative and quantitative information and among that, accounting information, which can be split into four areas, operating, financial, management, and tax accounting. Let's look at operating information. This is a kind of information that are useful to operating managers, information such as wage, inventory, cogs, et cetera, which are highly useful to run the day-to-day -day business. Now, next, financial accounting is useful data for managers, external lenders, and government agencies, as well as investors. Those are information that are critical to assessing the financial health of a company. Management accounting information is for management in that company that are often used for corporate planning or budgeting, its implementation, and control and measurement purposes. And finally, tax accounting. These are mainly for our tax authorities, which tend to look for the key differences or similarities between tax accounting and financial accounting. So those are the four key information that are used. Now, there are several guiding principles to run these numbers. One is called GAP, and the other is called IFRS. Now, GAP is an abbreviation for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, and it is a principle established by the Financial Accounting Standard Board called FASB. Accounting practice is applicable in the United States. So when you say GAP, think about what is applicable in the United States.